Can anybody hear me? Well, you want you wanted somebody to say yes. Would you rather hear a random creature say yes? Or would you rather hear, just hear silence, bro? I don't know what would be more nerve wracking. Don't move. <laughs> Wrist. Why are you saying back rooms? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Stop. What do you mean? What do you mean back rooms? What does that mean? What do you mean back room? What's in the back room? What's in the back room? Shut up. Shut up. What's in the back room? What, what back room? Do I have to check the back room? Why are you getting scared? <laughs> Bro, they all started saying the same thing. Like, is there like another step to this shit, bro? I don't understand what you're saying, bro. Type in back rooms goofy. Uh, oh, oh, bro. I thought it was like after that video, you have to go to like the back room of your house or some shit, bro. What the hell is this? The back rooms found footage. Y'all just be on the creepy side of the internet, huh? Sound? Camera? Rolling. All right. And action. An intruder. <laughs> All right, cut, cut. That was good, that was good, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle, and then we're done. Okay? All right, yeah, cool. cool. Like, how much further, like? Uh, a little more. Right, a little okay, more. Is, yeah. is that supposed to be a monkey? Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Nigga just fell to the fucking under, what, 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 what? <laughs> Nigga fell through the upside down, my nigga. Where did you just fall through? Hello? Hello? Yo, Ray hey guys. Yo. What is this? You in the back rooms, gangy? Hello? Yo, yo, I saw y'all saw that? Is someone there? Yo, shut the f up, mate. What's that? Oh. Someone there? Yo, I'd, I'd, I'd do the letter. I'd do that last letter in that thing, bro, if I was... Stop turning it, stop turning it. Why are you turning the camera like a freaking, you know? That thin ass fucking space. What if you see somebody's face? Chill, 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 chill. Back up. Back up, 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 back up. Back up, back up. Okay. Oh, nigga gotta go in all fours and crawl through that shit, bro. <laughs> Could it be me, <laughs> Goofy? Uh... All these fucking rooms, bro. This would be good, like little little paintball arena, bro. Can anybody hear me? Well, you want you wanted somebody to say yes. Damn it! I hear you. I don't know what I'd rather. Would you rather hear a random creature say yes, or would you rather just hear silence, bro? I don't know what would be more nerve wracking. You just hear a random motherfucker talk about some. Yes. In the corner. Oh my god, I saw it. Did I? Did I see it? Look at that. I kept it right. Bro, this shit is in 12 FPS, bro, like... What are those lines? Oh, those are arrows. L cameraman, put the fucking shit up, bro. Goofy, yeah. Uh. Okay. Okay. What the hell? 
What the hell? Just what the? Don't move. Nigga, just making elephant sounds, bro. Like that, 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 that voice box shouldn't be in that type of creature. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't help. Like he gonna bend the corner right here, and nigga gonna be standing there with his dick out. He gonna be standing there with his dick out. He gonna bend one of these coins. He gonna be standing there with his dick out. I was, I was I was staring too hard. I was looking too hard. I was looking too hard. I was looking too hard, bro. I was looking too hard. I was looking too hard. <laughs> Hold on, I want to pause it. I want to see how it looks. He bent this corner right here. What the fuck is that? Jump, jump, nigga. Dolphin down through that mouth. Two. He's in world two. Level two. Come, come on, man. We got stairs in this bitch, man. W teleport. The fuck? Okay, just keep it on, you fucking stupid fuck. What are you doing? What are you doing? Open oh, standing there with his dick out. I swear, I, I hope it's standing there. Turn it back on. Okay. Whoa. Holy shit. What the fuck is this place? Hey, in Brooklyn. <laughs> Yo, shut the fuck up, nigga. Nigga, jump, this nigga. This if, if, if that's my escape, I'm jumping across. This, this isn't real. Throw the fucking camera across and. Okay. It's locked, huh? This is sussy. I kid turn around, 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 turn around. Go back, go back, go back. There's no way. You just went to this nigga's fucking lair, bro. You went back to this nigga's crib. Back to his bando. This is where he be Bro, nigga sl slid back to the bando, bro. Why are you turning it like that? I ain't gonna lie, that nigga is doing way too much, bro. Just turn the fucking corner, bro. If he's sitting there with his dick out, then he's sitting there with his dick out. Then why are you going slow? Oh, shit! 
Oh, 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 ah, shit, my wrist. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Did you even hear any of that, bro? Oh, shit. Ah, yo, I just destroyed my wrist, bro. Yo, cause I, when it happened, I jumped and my hands were under my desk and I flew my hands in the air and it hit the edge, like, it just, oh my God, like, holy shit. Like, it was bad. Like, I slammed my whole wrist on the bottom of my shit, bro. And my whole desk lifted up with all my shit on it, bro. Do you know how hard I have to hit that shit for the shit to fly in the air like that? Yo. And this is a heavy ass desk, dog. Yo. Why the fuck did I jump like that, bro? Yo, that was crazy. Like, I jumped. Like, I, like, my whole body flew in the air, bro. Yo, this nigga accelerates bent in the corner. Yo, what the fuck was that speedy fucking demon, bro? Nigga's a speed demon. Oh, that was a chair? My nigga, wait, did he throw a chair? Wait. Did that nigga throw a chair? What the fuck is that? You know what's crazy too, chat? We always think of aliens and extraterrestrial ass shit as some thing that we could comprehend. Like, you know, aliens. But no, they're probably some shit that we've never even thought of that we can never think of because we've never seen any of it. Like, it's probably some weird looking sh entity, just fucking enigma. Like, we couldn't, we can't even fathom what it fucking looks like for real, bro. So when we, if we happen to see some crazy shit, we'd fucking, I, I don't even know, bro. Nigga, if you don't fucking slide cancel down that shit, my nigga. Oh my god. Yo. My nigga, what? Yeah, you're dead. You're literally dead, bro. Like. You're dead, bro. No, yeah, you're dead, bro. You're with the, you know what I'm saying? You're gone, bro. You're a goner, bro. How is the camera still alive? How the fucking camera don't have zero HP, bro? No, that was actually a crazy ass video, bro. This was insane. This was literally insane, bro. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. This came out in 2022. Y'all trying to tell me y'all sat here in your drawers, in your bed alone, watching this type of shit, like just watching this video. How did all y'all know what this backdoor shit is, bro? I saw Corey watch it. Oh, thank God. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Corey is a freak ass nigga. Corey is a fucking freak. My boy Corey, you are a freak indeed. You, you're a crackhead, bro. You just watch all these shit. I can't do it, dog. Film theory, how to survive the back rooms. Do they have fucking lore and a breakdown in the... What are you, what, what the fuck? What do you mean how to survive the back rooms? You can't survive, my nigga. Let's see what this breakdown is. Look, look. If I had to es survive this, how to survive the back rooms? What do you think it would do if you got naked? Look, I know this is always like, I've oh y'all see me ask this question a lot. What, what do you think it will do if you got naked? Do you think it'll be confused? Blow your back out. Sex, it will fuck you. It'll give you bacteria in your dick hole. Nigga, what? <laughs> Breed me. If, 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 if getting naked isn't an option, sometimes, look, why don't you just fight it? Why don't you, how come I've never seen somebody just try to fight these things? They're always running, crying, or so, just fucking fight it, my nigga. So that, like, you're gonna die. You're gonna die, right? It's locked in, you're gonna die. Fucking fight it, my nigga. Just fucking fight it. Like, let's say you're in the wild, and there's one wolf, one wolf. You're not running away. But I feel like you pussy ass niggas are gonna run. No, it's gonna catch you and you're the easier shit for you. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tangle with, you gotta get, you gotta throw down with that motherfucker. You're gonna die if you're just running away fearing and just pussy. Ah, ah, help me. Ah, ah. Bro, your best chance of surviving is rumbling with that motherfucker. With the bear, uh, 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 that's with a wolf. If we're talking bears and gorillas, you know what I'm saying? You gotta like play the out of what you gotta do, bro. Play dead. I don't know. Do something. 
But like, you feel me? With a wolf, you're not just playing dead with a wolf, my nigga, and you're not running. So you gotta rumble, like rumble, you gotta rumble. You gotta get, you gotta grapple with that nigga, bro. Give him some combos and shit. You feel me? Why you sound like a bird? What do you mean like a bird? <laughs> Versus wolf, climb a tree. True. You can. But what if you're not fast enough to run to the tree? The nigga just jumps on your back and shit and it bites you in your butthole. Like, what are you doing? It tears your Achilles out your fucking ankle, bro. Like, like, like what are you going to do? There's a chunk of your ass and it's just hanging out of his mouth because you're trying to climb up a tree, bro. Have you even fucking climbed a tree in your life, bro? Like, what's going on, bro? Like, what's happening? I'm coming. <laughs> what? I'm giving a wolf the, the hands. Chat, you think TK giving a wolf the hands? TK, how many rounds you going with a wolf? You got TK in like six? TK in four. I got TK in seven? It, it, it'll be a bloody one. It'll be a bloody one. Sure, nigga, rage. <laughs> in a fight, right? Yes. Wolf in one. <laughs> Short nigga rage, basically super save four. It's crazy. I can see TK screaming, finally, like, ah! Beating his chest and shit. <laughs> oh, this shit just ripping you apart and shit. TK, TK throwing slugs and shit. TK, why I feel like you trying to jump on that nigga back or some shit? You trying to jump on the wolf back. Trying to choke it out. I ain't gonna lie. Choking it out might not be a bit. The thing is, you just can't get there's mouth, bro. Like, you gotta. I don't know, dog. A nigga like me. Grabbing the fucking wolf, putting one hand on his top jaw, the other hand on his bottom jaw, and ripping that motherfucker! Just ripping his fucking mouth open! Just, just ripping that bitch open, bro! Just fucking, fucking mouth gonna be at a fucking 180 and fucking just split open flat! Just ripping that bitch! Oh shit! Oh my god! Sometimes I wish I had a face cam, bro. I literally just almost caught a cramp in my shoulder just trying to rip that shit, bro. Fuck that nigga up, boy. Alright, let's go. Hello, Damn, Internet. I got a cramp. Welcome the to fuck? Film Theory, a show that's coming to you live You're not from Superman? the back room. You're not gotta be Why? Superman to open up no a mouth. How to get out of here. Internet speed's good, though, and the moist carpet water is, uh... Eh, it's not the best I've ever had, but, you know, it'll do. Wait, what was that noise? For yeah, all of you done, who are bro. uninitiated, the monotone me. misery that is the back room Talk to me. began I'm back in 2019, that, when this image was posted to a 4chan board dedicated to unsettling images. Just an ugly series of rooms, right? No big deal. I've never really been on 4chan. Is 4chan like, like, describe 4chan for me, chat. What's, 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 give me, give me a quick breakdown. Like, like, what is really 4chan for real? Racist. KKK Twitter. Reddit, but worse. Toxic. Sometimes worse than Reddit, white people. Torture porn. It's like OnlyFans for furries. Does it have like no rules? Like can you post and say anything? EDP be on there? <laughs> can you make money on 4chan? Like if EDP wanted, could he go to 4chan and rep and somehow create money, bro? No. No, it's just a forum basically. Oh. It's a chat forum. Alright. I used to be in the forums and shit when I was a J. I used to be in the forums. Came packaged with the following text. Quote, if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you'll end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background bro, noise of fluorescent just lights, choke the nigga out, bro. Hum buzz, and approximately hum buzz. 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped. Okay, God, now that's gotta be, uh, 600 million square miles is a, is, if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure heard you. What if you like just tiptoe, bro? This post immediately got under people's skin. That endless series of mild annoyances that make you feel squeaky and uncomfortable. Slightly wet socks, a faint electric buzz, harsh lighting, ugly wallpaper. In short, it is yeah, that wallpaper's dog horror, shit. an oppressive monotony that slowly wears you down mentally and physically. That I'm trying to get my vernacular like that, bro. Like, 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 we don't know what mundane means and all that shit, but, like, I don't use it in my day-to-day. -day. An oppressive monotony that's... Like, monotony, I don't use it, but, like, when the fuck am I gonna... Like, like, you feel me? There's simpler words I can use that I use, but it is good to broaden your fucking vernacular and shit. have a lot of, uh, better words to use, bro. That miserable setting inspired lots of online artists to write their own independent creepypastas, even creating a short video game where you explore the space. But You're here too in 2022, ghetto. the bad I'm not ghetto, bro. exploded in popularity thanks to a new series by VFX artist Kane Pixels, who's taken the basic concept and started to build a full-on world around it. And you know what that means? Lore! Kane's first yeah, give me the lore, bitch. short film takes place We love in lore. Uh, one thing about us and YRG, we love us some lore. Okay? 
That is facts. We want to know the lore. We need we, we need the lore. We like a lore. We like a little storyline to go back with it. You feel me? Uh, well, <laughs> already we hit a bit of a snag. The slate says July 4th, 1990 something. Some lore the demons. description of the video actually has September 23rd, 1996. Yes, anyway, I've this seen is that. probably just because it was the first video in the series. Dates become much clearer as the world gets more and more developed. Things start okay. off instantly when a cameraman, fittingly enough named Kane, tries to set up a wide shot and immediately falls through the ground. Literally no clipping through reality, only to wind up in the dank and deserted world full dank. of humming fluorescent lights, retro carpeting, yellow walls, endless corridors, and monsters that, at least at first glance, remind me of walking tripods. Our cameraman Yo, that's wanders so around that's so ugly, bro, but at the same time, I like the way they designed it, not like some stereotypical looking extraterrestrial ass predator alien looking way, ass nigga, bro. Interesting landmarks in amongst the endless walls but ultimately he's caught and presumably killed by the weird funk wait did they wait did he actually grab that in endless it? walls but ultimately he's caught and presumably killed by the weird he actually did grab that nigga and the camera is falling fungi monster it's short it's simple it's effective since the massive success of that first backrooms video kane has been oh, busy expanding shit. the world with other shorts like the third test first contact and missing persons as well as making the accompanying collateral.mov and march 11th 1990 archive.tar which are both hidden in the descriptions of the various videos what from the all of them hell? we ultimately learned that the backrooms was an experiment designed by a company named async to solve space issues providing near limitless room for both storage and housing in an ever-shrinking okay. world. Where it all went wrong, though, remains to be seen. But what I want to focus on today isn't the where or the why, on. but rather the how. Yo. How to survive. Yeah, how you survive that bitch. Series, so I need to know. Since accessing the back rooms in 1989, missing persons reports have been skyrocketing as more and more people fall out of reality never to return. So if that were you, what do you do? How survive. do you navigate a seemingly endless maze with limited resources long enough Fight it or get naked. Locked. Serious world. Fight Fight it or get naked. Avoid an unknown monster that roams the halls. What mistakes do we see Kane make in his exploration of the back rooms? And what could we do better? Pay attention, friends, because not today go back I have inside the, the fucking yellow room, bro. That might just save your life the next time you no clip out of reality into an ugly yellow nut. Bro, my nigga made it out and went back in, bro. Like, that in 1989, tests by the Async Foundation caused a massive earthquake that took place in the Santa Cruz Mountains. What? So, is the facility in the mountains? Are you at the top of a mountain and need to go down? Are you under the mountain? and you need to go up? Are you in the upside down and you need to get un-upside down -ed? It's <laughs> unclear at best. All we know is that in one moment we were filming with friends and in the next we're here. So once you land in the back rooms, the first thing that you need to do is take the advice w of the US Forest fast. Service, which suggests that when you get lost in the woods or a cave, you do not move at all unless you have a specific reason to what take the a fuck? step. Basically, you sit down, you don't panic, you assess the situation and the tools that you have at your disposal, and you stay where you are. You ended up at this location location for a reason maybe Holy. this is an entry point for other people and someone else will no clip in maybe people will wind up looking for you and by moving you throw off their tracking in short true. by panicking running that's and true. moving forward without a clear plan that's of attack, true that's actually that's, that's, that's true in getting yourself more and that's more true. lost eventually you're in though, that nigga's you domain bro you don't know where you're that going bro Kane's first mistake he had no plan he just wandered aimlessly and headed towards whatever looked interesting this meant that whatever looked interesting he started getting chased by the back rooms as monster he had no idea of his surroundings and wound up meeting a dead end figuratively or I, I guess it would be literal huh. anyway proper grammar aside we're <laughs> in a repetitive maze we're looking for <laughs> an exit and we need a way to track our movements and for that we need to use a maze solving algorithm an automated strategic way for solving the maze with no prior knowledge of it our okay. first strategy should be using the wall follower technique also wall known follower. as the right hand rule this is one that I think a lot of people have heard of but maybe don't understand the actual I think mechanics of basically I think, it's a try I think that's just some escaping method instinct that shit bro your right hand along a wall while you navigate the maze. You see, mazes, in their simplest terms, are just shapes that you're trapped inside. Facts. So you, as the maze solver, need to find the outermost wall and the hole that's presumably in it. Many mazes are what's known Facts. as simple. That's some shit I just I know to do of instinct. Together to the maze's outer boundary. As such, if you were to unwind the maze, it basically amounts to one big circle with an entrance hole and an exit hole. So by keeping your Stop hand now, on us. to one wall and following it all the way through, you follow the outline of that circular yep. path and yep. you either find the exit, yep. congratulations you survive or no, no you cap. end up looping back to where you first started. Well, True. that's certainly not ideal. It True. is helpful because it tells us that the maze isn't simply constructed, but rather it's what's known as a disjoint maze. One where the walls aren't always connected to the Now, my thing is... That, that's true. You could do that. But what the fuck happens when you're rubbing your hands on the wall, you're going forward, and the nigga just standing there with his dick out? 
Like, you gotta run. Or you fight it, right? Like, 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 like that's the point we wanna know. Like, let's say you're doing all that, and you see the nigga. What the fuck happens, bro? In the video, like, what the contact, fuck do you we do? actually get confirmation that this is what we're dealing with with the back rooms. We see a map that confirms that the back rooms is a disjoint maze. Notice that there are multiple chunks of wall here that don't seem to connect to the to outside any, yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. just because we're in a more complicated maze doesn't mean that we're out of options. First and foremost, if Kane was able to bring his camera with him into the back rooms, then his other belongings have no clipped with him as well. Specifically, things on his body like keys and clothes. And this immediately puts us at a <laughs> Why? You blushing, bro. You get naked. Huge advantage. If you have something like keys or a belt, you should immediately mark your a whip starting location on the wall. Oh, and then run those keys or belts or whatever against the wall to leave indentations yeah, that or too. markings. You can scuff the walls with your shoes. You can that peel too. the wallpaper. You can pull a Hansel and Gretel and rip pieces of your clothing off. Yeah, bro, imagine trying, <laughs> try, imagine trying to get the little the little monster a spanking. Uses breadcrumbs. You can write arrows and notes to yourself on the walls, which we know can be done since there are markings the maze it. left by other people. This way, oh, when our right hand method results in us doubling back to where we began, we naughty have a monster. Indication of which walls we followed. <laughs> Which ones we it's a naughty monster. If you happen to be somehow supernatural and can't be marked by you, then the ceiling tiles are another option here. Okay. See, the ceilings of the back rooms appear to be a specific type known as a drop ceiling or suspended ceiling, which is common yeah. in office environments where lightweight foam panels hang a few inches below the main structural ceiling. Hiding and it's some like school shit. And support beams. By and it's some school shit. It's like the, the fucking tiles, ceilings are about 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 of my middle school shit. My high school. Bit, bit by bit, you eliminate the hallways that you've tracked and systematically work Facts. your way to the outer edges of the maze. Yeah, but what the fuck happens when you hit one of these wall panels and the nigga standing up there with his dick out or some shit falls out with his dick out? Like, just something, just something crawls up and out of there, bro. This shit's scary, bro. Strategy to help with this something falls on your head, bro. Set up like the back rooms is the pledge algorithm. Here, you travel in a set direction. Let's say you walk forward until you hit an obstacle. From there, you put your right hand on the wall and you start walking around the obstacle, yes. counting the angles that you're turning. Clockwise turns are positive, counterclockwise turns are negative. Once you start okay. facing the original direction that you're meant to move again and the sum of your turns is zero you leave the obstacle and you continue moving in your original direction this ultimately uh, gets you off the disjoints faster leading you to the outer wall of the maze and eventually to the exit right now all you seasoned back rumors are probably laughing at me and saying silly mad uh, the back rooms are an endless void of death and despair that'll cause you to slowly lose your mind to which i say jokes on you i lost my mind years ago i'm not gonna let a funky smell and series right. of yellow rooms defeat me plus right. i'm not convinced that this thing is actually infinite or unpredictable. Like I said, in this new Kane Pixel series, we see a map of the place. We also see okay. Async employees able to walk through the back rooms using a long red line, presumably as a way to lead them back to the entrance door. So yes. all of that is just trying our best to find an exit. But there's yes. still one more important variable here that we have to consider. The monster, the monster that's bro. looking to rip our body in half to Yo, you. this shit looks sick though, bro. I don't know, I kinda chucks. fuck with this, this design. Is again, where a systematic approach to the maze will be our first line of defense. The last thing that we want is to wind- Question. Let's, let's get down to the basis of it. Why would an alien or a monster even want to kill you? Like, why? It's not like we see some shit we don't know, we just kill it, right? Like, we're just like, oh, okay, like, what the fuck? Like, food. Exactly, food. Let's say you had a big ass rotisserie chicken on you or some shit, or chipotle bowl, and you threw it at the nigga. Do you think it'll like stop? Like a like a like a like a monkey bomb from zombies? Like it's like good now? If you threw like a random dog at it or some shit, I'm not saying throw your dog at a fucking monster, but you feel me? Like I'm trying to give you a scenario. Say you threw like a like a bird at it or some or an animal like a rat. Is it gonna like leave you alone? Wind up in a dead end. And the best thing that we can do to avoid that is to use the confusing layout to our advantage. Ideally, we're able to lead this monster to a disjoint, a section of the maze that we already know loops. Yo, oh, nigga, let me go mix that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta tear that nigga asunder. That's fixed. You gotta tear him asunder. That's it. Want is to wind up in a dead end, and the best thing that we can do to avoid that is to use the confusing layout to our advantage. Ideally, we're able to lead this monster to a disjoint. That's, That's assuming that you're faster than the nigga too, bro. Of the maze that we already know pass, loops pass, back pass, around pass, on itself. Pass. This gives us two simultaneous benefits. First and most importantly, we don't get lost while still allowing us to use the narrow hallways and looping structure to escape the sight lines of the monster. Instead of taking okay. a straight path where the creature can easily yep. track and follow us, exactly. you can instead make tight turns yep. in an effort yep. to make yourself you mix that nigga. into a series of walls as quickly as possible. This sequence of repeated doors that Kane has chased through provides an excellent example. By oh, dodging shit. and leaving instead of taking a straight path, he should be able to make himself disappear yep. fairly quickly. The 
the other benefit of using a big disc joint to nice. escape this thing, though. That's, that's the WR IQ right here. That's WIQ right here. That we can then try to loop back around behind the monster to follow it. But what happens when you're fucking turning corners and then you literally reach a dead end and that shit's following you and all, all now you turn around and there's a monster right there with his dick out and a wall behind you? <laughs> like what happens? You bending corners, and then boom, it's a wall and the nigga's just right there behind you. <laughs> What do you do? Dolphin dive between his legs or some shit? Slide catch under his legs, bro? Obviously, your first priority is going to be avoiding this thing until you have a better sense of what it is and what it can do. But by leading it to a Dude, chunk of maze so that you ugly. know will allow you to double back around it, you'll be able to sneakily gather information much more quickly. And who knows? These things present. Yeah, why don't aliens wear clothes, bro? So by following them, they may be able to provide another resource for finding the way out. I and why are the reproductive organs? Ever out. You could try to fight it Since or try naked. to trap it with a rope or fight it. Yep, fight it. Or drag it into a null zone, which you wouldn't even know about. But honestly, is confronting what? Drag this it thing into a actually going to help you survive? Probably not. Focus on escape and defense as your first priority. See, you have Once no that settled, faith in yourself and your abilities. That works. You've learned that the walls don't magically change every 30 minutes. Start grabbing whatever you can find. In the back rooms video, Kane blatantly ignores a lot Damn, of potentially on. useful supplies. For instance, that ladder right there that's used to get into the crawl space. Grab it and carry it around and beat it with better it. try to use it to get into the ceiling grid oh. what i said about suspended ceiling, yeah, ceiling grid. hangs below what the real top of the room is true well, often, the walls only go as high as the dropped ceiling height. true as such, once you're in the ceiling you're not only hidden from the ground that's floor. actually true but what if the ceiling is where it lays this fucking eggs and shit you find like an egg sack like a fucking but yeah ceiling that's actually true that's actually good bro like, holy shit, why didn't I think of that? What the These fuck? monsters, but you also have a But what if you crawling? Like, like, hold on, let's think about it. what happens when you're crawling? You know what? Let's give you all a visual right quick. So look, boom, boom, it's the ceiling. And you crawling, you want all fours like these. You crawling, you're in the ceiling, right? Boom, this is the floor down here. Monsters right here. You crawling, you keep crawling. You advance forward, crawling, still on all fours. Cause you're in the ceiling grid. What happens when you advance and then boom? Ah! Ah! Boom! You fall through the fucking ceiling. Cause you're fat as fuck. And you don't count your fucking calories. And now you're on the floor, on all fours, in front of a in front of a fucking monster with his dick out. Like what the fuck do you do in this situation? The fuck do you do? Are you just done? Yeah. That's, that's just GG's, bro. Like, that's GG's, bro. As such, once you're in the ceiling, you're not only hidden from the ground-based monsters, but you also have a wide-open path to the outer edge of the maze, unobstructed by any walls. True, Heck, you might even be able true, to find some electrical true. wires from the fluorescent lights that you can then follow, which, again, should presumably be leading you out of the facility. Also and another thing. <laughs> that's assuming... Right? That's assuming this monster isn't a dumbass. Let's say you don't fall. Where's my eraser? Let's say you don't. How I make it thick? Let's say you don't fall. You know what? You don't fall. You're fit. You light on your toes a little bit. You're not that heavy. No, it's just a strong wall. It's a strong wall, right? Good foundation, strong ceiling, I mean. It's a strong feeling, right? Hear me out. Hear me out. What happens? Hear me out. What happens when you're crawling? You advance. You get this far. You're on all fours. You gotta remember, whole time you're doing all this, you're making noise, bro. You're crawling through the ceiling. You're crawling through the ceiling. And you think this motherfucker doesn't have ears, bro? You think this motherfucker doesn't have ears? That's an ear. It can hear you. So what happens when you crawl and you're making a little bit of noise and you're on top of the nigga? Huh? It hears you! Exclamation point. And it fucking extends his arm, grabs you through the fucking ceiling, pulls you down. It's gonna pull you down. Now you laying down on the floor, looking at a monster with his dick out. What you gonna do? Now you, now you dead. This is your eyeballs. You got X's on your eyes, bro. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're, you're done. It hurts you. You crawling through the ceiling, bro. So if you come across some rope in a dumpster, you don't walk past it. You check out what's inside the dumpster and you take the rope. You take what the world gives you because you might not ever come across it again. The same goes for- Oh, I thought you were about to say, you jump in that motherfucking <laughs> and hide, nigga. Any <laughs> chair legs that could be used for self-defense or heck, something inside of the filing cabinets that you walk past. Remember, you are stuck in a maze. Everything can have multiple uses. For instance, when Kane's walking up the fire escape, his camera catches a glimpse of a hole in the ceiling 
that's created by an air duct. Air ducts, yes. as you can probably guess, tend to lead to the ducks. outside of buildings. Oh. So again, having that ladder or rope might yeah. have helped him to investigate that. When he comes across a cavernous section of the back rooms, those same items could have helped him get across the chasm to the other side. If he had a ladder, he could have dropped down into the apartment area that we see here, allowing him to more efficiently look for food and water. Sure, nothing okay. might come of any of these options, but again, it's more likely to work than just wandering around aimlessly surrounded by repetitive true. yellow wallpaper. That Last, is true. but certainly not least, don't take any one-way exits unless you absolutely <laughs> Fucking have fool. to. While running away from the monster, Kane ends up sprinting deep into the catacombs Slid only cancel find the down hole right that he jumps down into. It was the right decision in the moment because he was being chased, yeah, but he had, had he just found the hole, this would have left him vulnerable because it's a decision that he can't easily reverse. Again, yeah. document on the walls with your keys or whatever that the hole is this way. That's assuming the monster don't jump down there with you. What if you drop, boom, land, ah, my knee. You gotta assess the situation because you just dropped on your fucking ass and then you look up and then guess what happens? You look up. This is the hole. This was the top, bro. This is the hole. This is you. You see the hole. You got spiky hair or some shit. It's a white dude. You see the hole? And behind you is a big ass fucking Giga Chad monster shit, bro. Ooh, it is chasing you. It's chasing you shit. I gotta jump down the hole, right? What are you doing in the video? He jumped down the hole. That's assuming when you land on your fucking ass. Ah, you land? What the fuck are you gonna do when you open your eyes and you see this motherfucker jumping down with you? What the fuck do you do, motherfucker? What do you do? This motherfucker jumping on you. What do you do? The fuck do you do? Ah, oh, shit, it's dick out. And fucking dick out. Jump out with a dick out. What do you do? There's just so much things that could happen. So many things that could happen, bro. But only come back to it if nothing else seems to be working. Again, the last thing you want to do is to corner yourself. So there you have it, friends. How to survive I'm the back rooms in six easy steps. One, have a maze-solving strategy. Two, mark your path using yes. whatever's on you. Three, equip yourself with anything and everything that you can find. Four, ceilings, wires, and air ducts are going to be your friend. Five, yes. never take a one-way path. Always have at least two ways out. And True. six, if you absolutely have have to use the disjointed confusing layout defense what do you think was the best tips in this video what do you think is the best tips let me see what do you think is the best tips i'm gonna see i'm gonna see your mind what do you think like if, that you would act practically use in this situation ceiling okay yes if you could get in the ceiling and somehow be quiet and somehow not fall through that bitch which i highly doubt i feel like this ceiling is kind of good don't move that's pretty good yes bro marking where you're at bro with something like marking where you're at like take the belt scratch it against the wall or some shit and then follow the outside of the world. That, that's a good tip because you need to mark where you're at. That's a pretty good tip, huh? Start stroking. Drop yeah, or dropping items. Or dropping items yeah, to, to let you know where you at and shit. I don't know. Use your legs. Ceiling and right hand. Okay. Your tip is the best. Juking his ass. <laughs> Said I'm on three plus right now. If I'm being honest. Hope my feelings shoot out like a rocket. Niggas thought they had the swag, but I'm really on it. Look at you just window shopping that new bag I bought it.